Good evening, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you good tonight? Good. I'm, I'm, fine you. You. I'm doing good. Thank you very much for asking. All right. So how was your day? It's very good. Very, very hard. Very hard. Oh, I see. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys, I can see some people that I had the opportunity to see one day that I cover your class. I remember some of you. It's a pleasure to see you again. I remember. Yes. You got to see you again too. I am working. Oh, you're working. Yeah. Oh, yes. I see. All right. Well, thank you for joining the class and being responsible. All right. So we are going to start right now. Just sharing the screen. Okay. So, well, it's everybody online. The yes. Day. Yeah. Okay, like how many are you? How many students? Teacher, I not see. You don't see the screen? Yeah. We, we, are, we are 11 right now, teacher. Ah, okay, great, excellent. So we can start right now. Give me one second. I'm gonna share the screen right now. Okay. Well, uh, everybody, welcome officially to our class. So, you know, I have been very happy the whole day because I was going to have a new group. And I discovered that, guys, this group is you. So I'm really happy to see you again. Right. So I remember in the last class we had and um, you were participating a lot. Right. So I know you are a really nice group. So this is pre-advanced, right? Yes. Excellent. Okay, great, great, great. So let me see here. One second, guys. This thing is here it is. Okay, well, excellent. So let's just start in the meantime. You know that this is loading here. We can start right now uh, the first part of the class, right? So as you might know, in the first class, we are going to like review certain details. All right about the the program right and some information um you know that it is important here so let me share the screen right now so you can see this let's see let's see all right excellent so well everybody en esa primera parte de la clase eh, vamos a hablar un poquito de español para eh, entender las eh, generalidades del programa y poder también presentarme y que ustedes conozcan un poco más de mí y que seré quien estará a cargo de eh, su programa durante estas cuatro semanas. All right, so mi nombre es Juan José Flamenco. Eh, you can call me teacher, you can call me eh, JJ if you want, que es un nickname que las personas eh, usan para llamarme a veces, JJ, but in English, JJ. All right, Mr. Flamenco, whatever, right, whatever is easier for you. Eh, acerca de... Eh, de mi formación académica, tengo un profesorado en idioma inglés, right? so, y también tengo una licenciatura en administración escolar, un nivel de inglés avanzado, eh, diplomados en educación eh, en línea, tomados a nivel internacional, y entre mi experiencia laboral, eh, trabajo, he trabajado para el Ministerio de Educación, tengo más de 10 años de experiencia en el área de call centers en inglés, Y eh, como facilitador del idioma inglés, trabajo desde Excuse el 2015. Me, yes. Tell me. Hello. Yes. Hello, hello. No questions. Can I continue? Continue, teacher. All right. Excuse me, teacher. I don't know. If listen for you. Okay. ¿Y los demás yeah. escuchan? O... Yes. Yes, yeah, teacher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm listening. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Yeah, 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 clear. Yes, I am listening, teacher. Very good. Thank you for confirming. All right. So, 
And uh, this is just basically about me, right? So, um, just uh, as I said before, quería compartir un poco acerca de mi experiencia y mi formación para que ustedes conozcan un poco más acerca de quién estará con ustedes acompañándolos durante este nivel, ¿verdad? También, importante, eh, conocer las generalidades que tal vez ya no son desconocidas para la mayoría de ustedes, están familiarizadas con ellas, y es en cuanto a la parte de las tareas y evaluaciones. Remember que usamos mucho la plataforma donde estarán eh, asignadas estas actividades que ustedes deben ir trabajando, si fuese posible, después de cada clase, aunque debo también mencionar que si ustedes pueden completar, eh, o se les hace fácil el tema y pueden ir avanzando en las actividades y terminan antes de que termine el curso, no hay ningún problema en que ustedes puedan adelantar, ¿verdad? De hecho, es mucho más ventajoso que ustedes puedan trabajar de esa forma. Eh, super important, it's necessary, el 80%, el 80% de promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder tomar el curso, aprobar el curso satisfactoriamente, right? So, eh, por lo cual, todo debe estar completado y con un buen score en la plataforma. Eh, las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, como se mencionó, y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase, puede adelantar contenido, y los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos, eso sí, right? So, eh, Then, eh, todo el material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del de maestro, en este caso, su, en mi persona, en formato digital. Right? So, eh, entiendo perfectamente cómo trabaja eh, la comunicación con este grupo, así que en caso de que ustedes tengan alguna duda, necesiten el apoyo de mi parte, lo pueden hacer saber a través de la persona encargada, yo con mucho gusto les comparto cualquier tipo de material, o también durante la clase, a través del chat de Zoom, Puedo compartirles algún tipo de material, eh, imágenes o algo que ustedes necesiten y ustedes las descargan directamente del chat de Zoom, ¿ok? Durante la clase. So, then, let's see the next one. Tareas y evaluaciones. ¿Cómo va a estar eh, organizado este eh, nivel? All right, so, son cuatro semanitas. Recordemos que esta semana vamos de martes a viernes, súper importante. Yo sé que normalmente están de lunes a jueves pero por cuestión de que ayer todavía estábamos trabajando con el otro programa, entonces empezamos hasta hoy, ¿verdad? Y digamos hasta el viernes, a partir de la siguiente semana, siempre vamos de lunes a jueves, en el mismo horario, por supuesto. Eh, semana 1, que vamos a terminar en la semana 1, la sección 1 y 2, recuérdense que eso es lo que se refiere al trabajo en plataforma, ¿verdad? Eh, también eh, vamos a trabajar con el material de apoyo, que es el libro que está en PDF, disponible en la plataforma, eh, como lo que voy a decir, como en calidad de material de apoyo, más cualquier material que yo pueda compartir en la presentación. Eh, semana 2, sección 3 y el midterm, que sería el examen de mitad del término, ¿verdad? Y la semana 3 hay que trabajar la sección 4. Y la semana 4, sección 5 y el examen final. Todo esto es lo que ustedes deben cubrir o, o lo indicado para cubrir de acuerdo a la semana en la que ustedes estén trabajando. Como se dijo anteriormente, ustedes pueden trabajar por adelantado, es decir, no importa que esté en la semana 1 y usted ya empezó a trabajar en la sección 3, no hay ningún problema con eso, puede ir adelantando. Eh, a ver, vamos a ver con este acá, eh, generalidades o las políticas de asistencia, remember, asistencia al 80% de las clases, por ahí escuché a alguien que estaba trabajando, le agradezco mucho la responsabilidad de poder eh, estar conectado a pesar de eh, estar en la jornada, aunque sea en calidad de oyente, ¿verdad? Para que por lo menos no pierda el, el, el tema que se trata en esa clase. Eh, también importante el avance y desarrollo en la plataforma de aprendizaje. Como ustedes pueden ver, estamos trabajando para que usted pueda... Eh, thank you, Franklin. Eh, para que usted pueda eh, ir desarrollando esos temas en la plataforma y ahí pueda ir también usted guardando un récord de cómo va avanzando, ¿verdad? El inicio de la clase, like, creo que aquí, I love this group, right? So, me encanta este grupo, que soy very punctual, todo el mundo está conectado a la hora de la clase, so which is good. Eh, horas establecidas, cámaras encendidas dentro de la posibilidad de ustedes, right? Y recuerden que tenemos nada más 60 minutos de clase, que tenemos que aprovechar desde el minuto 1 hasta el 60, ¿ok? Eh, trabajar en ejercicios en la plataforma de clase y para que usted pueda obtener su diploma al final, right? So, ¿Preguntas hasta el momento? No, no question, teacher. Ok, thank you. All right. 
normas de convivencia general, eh, in this one, so, botón de silencio, todo momento activado, um, obviamente a la hora de participar, you know, so, como ahorita que acabo de hacer una pregunta, o que si pido algún voluntario, obviamente usted activa el botón y empieza a participar, right? Eh, lista de asistencia a su programa, nombre completo en, para identificarle aquí en Zoom, cámara encendida, participación activa, eh, super important, right? So, recordemos, por favor, que eh, it's important you participate in eh, the activities that we are going to use here. El uso del chat, claro que sí. All right, so, eh, y, you know, raise your hand to ask for questions, or you can actually eh, turn, activate the microphone or mute the microphone so you can actually eh, ask the question, right? And to keep the respect all the time. So, then you go on this one right here. Y empezamos con the first activity for today. Entonces, antes de empezar, I don't know if you have questions, my friends, about the policies, the general policies. Yes. Pre preguntas acerca de las políticas que acabamos de revisar? No, teacher. No okay. question. Excellent. Teacher. So, no more Please Spanish. Go. Let's go yeah. to English. Thank you. Thank you for confirming. So now no more Spanish. Let's go to English so we can start practicing uh, this class. This is activity number one for today. And this is something that we are going to see in the manual or the book that you have available on the platform as the first exercise right here. So we have this activity and this is about love and marriage in North America, right? So this is um, a chart that you know here which you can see here you guys know the word chart yeah uh, this one so what I is know. it i know what is the chart it's the graphic exactly yeah? that is correct all right so it is the graphic very good so like that chart and uh, uh, we can see that right there all right so when you know women and men were sharing their point of view about you know how men rate five aspects of our relationship, all right? And then we have here, so what they actually say about them, right? So we have a question in common for both of them. So the question says, what women look for in a partner and then what men look for in a partner. So question, it's basically the same for both of them. So now <laughs> let's see, uh, I need a volunteer who can help me to read what women look for in a partner. Who can help me? Let's see. Me. Please go ahead, Edmundo. What uh, women look for in a partner? Leadership qualities, mm -hmm. earning potential, mm -hmm. a sense of humor, intelligence, uh, job skill, and success. Success. Excellent. Very good. All right. So remember the pronunciation of this word right here. It will be earnings. Repeat earnings. Earnings. Exactly. Thank you very much. All right. So then uh, do you have questions about the vocabulary on that section, my friends? No, no question. No, no questions. No question. What is earnings? How money money you you do earn? Yeah. Money you get, of course. You right? get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The money you get, of course. That's what women look for, right? So leadership, earning, like money, um, sense of humor, good one. All right, intelligence and job skills. Very good. Who can help me with this other section right here? What men look for in a partner? Mm -hmm. A lot of volunteer, please. Hello, hello. I am here. Teacher. Yes. I am here. Voluntary. Thank you, Enrique. Go ahead. Um, what men look for a um, for for in a par partner? Correct. Uh, physical attractive. Uh, attractiveness. Attractive. Attractiveness. Uh, what need in attention? Uh, mm -hmm. Omi om, om making ability. Okay. Uh, fashion, fashion sense. Fashion sense. Social skill. Skills, okay. Uh, and? and sensibility. And sensitivity. Yeah. All right. So, yes. Very good. Excellent. So, thank you, my friend. Now, hey. let's review some pronunciation details for here. So, everybody, repeat with me. Attractiveness. Repeat it. Attractiveness. 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 attractiveness very good excellent so and what is the physical attractiveness people yeah 
What is no. it? What is it? Can you tell me? Yes, when, when you see a, 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 a beautiful woman. Exactly. So you see, you like the way the person the looks, person looks, right? Yes. Exactly. The way the person the looks, looks, like the physical appearance. Exactly. All right. Yes. So what is warmth and affection? What is it? What is warmth? Thank warm. you, uh, Baudilio. All right. Yes. What is warmth? Any idea? It's this word. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. That's what you say in Spanish here, like como la calidez, right? So, yeah. warmth. Or oh, afecto, talking about afecto. All right, so you go on this one. All right, so mm -hmm. then, what is home making ability? What is home making? Mm -hmm. Hogareño. Hogareño, very good, excellent. So fashion sense, so you can actually dress up sí. super nice, beautifully. All right, sí. social skills and sensitivity. All right, so what do you have like feelings towards that? All right, excellent. So that's actually what the book is telling us about how American men and women look for in a partner, right? Now you have to practice. It's time for you to practice. And for that, we have this one right here, which is this question that we have at the end. All right. So we have three questions right here, right? So that we are going to practice right now in the breakout rooms. So let's see who can help me with the question number one to read, just to read. Mm -hmm. Volunteer for reading? Me. Thank you. In your opinion, we show the qualities above are the most important to look for in a partner. There you go. Are there other important qualities missing from the list? Mm -hmm. How do the people meet their partners in your country? Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for reading the three questions right there. So those are the questions that you guys need to practice. And for that, you will have to go to the breakout rooms and practice. So now let's see. Uh, I'm going to verify here. That you um you know you can participate or you are only listeners so let me check this one right here all right edmundo eh, you can definitely participate juan francisco are you there uh -huh. i am teacher all right can you participate yes teacher uh, all right the reading uh uh, we're going to have a reading? conversation in a moment. Okay. okay. Uh, Saul Ernesto, where is it? Saul, Saul. See so you have the camera active. Let's see. All right. Yes, you can participate. Are the other important? Roma is intelligent. All right. Carlos Alberto Reyes. Santos Reyes, yes. All right. Okay. So I'm I'm just trying to check this one, people. So los quiero organizar para que no quede ninguno que no pueda hablar. So you cannot talk in the breakout rooms. No quede solo, right? So you can talk with somebody who can participate. Understand? Okay. So let's just continue here. Um, all right. Excellent. So I'm going to open the breakout rooms, my friends. And now, if you have questions, just let me know. Remember, vamos a trabajar a respondiendo las preguntas, you know, the answer the questions at the end right here. So those questions that we have here, okay? So let's continue right now, people. Join the rooms right now, please. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Continue.
about uh, what is the practice say? We are we are going to practice about uh, uh, check. Practicar acerca de what woman look for an apartment or what men look for an apartment. Yeah, yeah. We, we are going to discuss the chart friendly, passion, uh, sellersness, uh, practical. Yeah, the hair. Yeah. Sometimes we, we look for an, an apartment. What? what? Sometimes we look for another company. Sometimes. I don't know. Another comment to 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 spend time. Family, yeah. Practice in the the homemaking. In the hands, what? Yeah. 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 Ah, ah, yeah, very, very much attractive. Thank you, my friend. <laughs> Mundo Martinez. The order, Mister. Hey, cómo estamos ahí, pues. Mister Boss. Thank you, attractive. Listo, practice. Que viene grupo, me que tenía. English. We are, we are practicing. We are practicing. Bravo, bravo. Practice it, yeah, yeah. he said, Mr. Lucha. Mr. Lucha. Yeah. Uh, what? Hey. Hey, okay. See you. We can see you. Yeah, Eddie Consuelo, what, what happened? I want to see you. The same to Ma Maria Magdalena. It's great to see you again, yeah? And to share or spend this time together in, in the English class, yeah? In, in español, ¿qué vamos a hacer, Luchita? Vamos a practicar acerca de el, qué es lo que buscas en un, en un hombre, pues, va, y, o qué es lo que busco yo en una mujer, que me guste, pues, para que me guste, para que sea mi pareja, pues, va. María Magdalena says... Eh, so attractive, yeah. La pompa, mi amor. Ah, my man. Mi booty. My, my, my man is attractive. Attractive. Culturally attractive. He has a lot of money. Eh, home making. Home making, yeah. Yeah. And, um, eh, weather meal. Eh, amable, no sé. Kind. Amable? Kind. 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 It's a lie. It's a lie. Uh, so, what else? Mm -hmm. Comprehensive? No, I'm not serious. Comprehensive, yeah. My yes. friend. Serious? No. I, I no, know. serious, no. Compre comprehensive. Sad. Yeah. yeah. Sad, no. No, no, no. Sad, no. Okay. Men, I am happiness. Hi. Is he going? Maybe is he going? Men, men, good. Físico es físico, va. Attractive. Lucha, lucha. Attractive. Attractive, pues. No, el físico, el físico, el físico, nada más. En, en good shape. Physical maybe. attractiveness. Physical attractive. Physical yeah. attraction. Pero en good shape es buena forma. ¿no? Good shape, uh -huh. correct. Good shape. Good yeah. shape, buena forma. Mm -hmm. yeah. What else? Good shape. Good shape. Good shape. Correct. Uh, um, the... Maybe, maybe. Uh, he must to have uh, he must to to has a oh, to have to have a a beautiful eyes. Yeah. Beautiful eyes. Yeah. All right. Eyes. Eyes. So some funny. sometimes sometimes funny. you have to actually ask funny. if you like Dead. Funny. tall or short. 
Chor or little chor? Chor only chill. A medium. A medium. A medium. Yes. Chor is his danger. Chor is danger. Oh, no, not. Mujer chiquita y llego a vaya. Abre la puerta que llego a vaya. Oh my God. No se di. He's funny. Funny? My father is. Beat or how do you say en forma, guys? Good shape. You can say that one or you can say feet. Fit, fit. Uh -huh. That's why you prefer like fit, fit or fat, form. which is the opposite, fit. right? No, fit, 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 fit. Yes, fit. of course. Okay. He's no fat. Okay, very good. And and what about like you know physical appearance? Is like white skin, brunette, which is like what we said, moreno. All right. Yes. So or you know black hair, blonde, etc. Right. Yeah. Bald. 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 All right. Bald. <laughs> With no hair. Maybe. Black hair. Curly hair. Curly Curly. hair. All right. Curly. Yeah. Curly Maybe curl. long, long, long straight hair. Yeah. Ah, long yeah. straight hair. Long, long hair. Like long. emo. Yeah. What else? Watch. I don't listen. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Anything it's, else? Uh, have a, a good job. Okay. Yeah, with a good job, of course. Uh -huh. yes. Intelligent. Excellent, right? Yes. And so you go on this one. Many, uh, many abilities. Many abilities, of course. Ability. Uh, money, etc. Right as well. Money is important. Yeah, money is important. <laughs> yes, of course. All right. Thank you. So we are going to go back to the main session so we can share our answers. Okay. Yeah. So let's see. <laughs> Welcome back to the main session. So we are just waiting for everybody else to join the class. Here it comes. 10, 11, 12, 13. All right. Awesome. So here we are. Now, let's see. I need a volunteer who can help me with question number one. Question number one, in your opinion, which of the qualities above are the most important to look for in a partner? Volunteer? Who is it? Let's see. Let's see. Volunteer for question number one. Uh huh. This one. Yes. Okay. Let me hear you. Okay, mm -hmm. Maria. Oh, okay. Sorry. In, Go ahead. In your in your opening. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. In your opening, with of the qualities above, are the most important to look for in a partner. In a, a partner. partner. Excellent. In so, a partner. What are the qualities? In your opinion, mm -hmm. Maria. Um, well, wearing an affection. Okay, affection. Okay. Uh, come making ability. Okay. Fashion sense. Okay. Social skills. Skills. Sensitivity. Sensitivity. All right, great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And also, I remember you were saying like tall, rich. Money, right? Tall, yeah. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much. So, Edmundo, you were going to say something, right? Yeah, in my opinion, 
uh, intelligence, a sense of humor, uh, leadership qualities, uh, and success. And success, right? All right, very good. So, well, guys, what about the question number two? It says, are there other important qualities missing on the list that were not mentioned on the list, but you consider them to be important? For example? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so comprehensive. Which comprehensive. one? Com comprehensive, all right. What comprehensive, else? Comprehensive, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, very kind. Kind, all right, very good. Uh -huh. What else, what else? Right, you can talk about specific things on personal opinion. I mean, pers uh, personal appearance, right? Physical appearance, that's what I'm going to say. Uh, someone who's going to be tall with feet. money, feet, feet or fat, feet. You know, right? Uh, a medium, on... medium, oh, all right, medium feet. size. Okay, very good, excellent. Thank mm, you. All right, sense, yeah. and talk about our country, El Salvador. Right? How do people meet their partners in this country? Right, so como se conocen here las personas, right? Ajá. Binay. Ajá. How? In my world. Binay, binay. Dating, you mean? Nickname, o sea, tipo apodo. Nick... Nicknames? Nicknames. Okay. Nickname. Very good. Nickname. Okay. Excellent. Ajá. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And you were saying like uh in the Maria says that you meet people in the job. That's true, right? So you can find someone you like in your job. Yeah. Where else? Where? In what other places you can see people who you like? In my school. In the public, in the public in the transportation. Public transportation, it's true. People that you only see once in your life and then you don't see them anymore. Very good. Uh -huh. What else? At the party. Parties, yes. All right. So, and what happens in the party, it stays in the party. All right. So, very good. In, huh? in university. Universities. Study. That's true. That's correct. All right. And so, on. Um, thank you. All right. Well, do you have any questions before we move to the next activity? Story time. Where? In story. In stores. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like stores. a classmate. Oh, in class, in the class as well, like classmates. Aha, uh -huh, right? Very good. Uh, okay, questions before we move to the next activity? No questions? No question. No questions. All right. No problem, Carlos. Thank you for reporting. All right, so let's see. What's the next activity? So it's a conversation, all right? So right now, guys, we are going to be just reading this conversation right here so we can practice it. All right. Right now, I am going to read it for you. Okay. So you can listen to the pronunciation and the intonation. Then I will give you the opportunity to practice with another partner so you can continue practicing this conversation right here. It says, pay attention, please. Do you have a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Mm, what kind of guys do you like? Oh, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone like you. Okay, Um. what else? Well, I prefer someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the guy for you, Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to meet us for coffee and you can tell me what you think. Easy conversation, all right? So now let's see, I want some volunteers, two volunteers, someone who can be Chris and someone who can be Kim. Who's my volunteer, number one? Mm -hmm. Me. Edmundo, so one more, Chris. thank you. Who? I'll be Chris. Are you with Chris? I have Maria, who, who she can be Kim, all right? So. El Mundo, Chris, eh, Maria, Kim. All right, go ahead. Do you have a, a date for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Did you now enjoy a cool do, cool do wait? Mm. What kind of guy do you like? 
um, I like guys who aren't too serious and who have, who have a good sense of humor. 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 You know some, some, someone like you. Ooh, okay. Ooh. What else? Uh, go like this. Pre prefer someone I have some time come out with who I can talk to as easily, 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 easily. Mm -hmm. easily. I think I know just the guy for you, Bob Branson. Do you know him? No, I don't think so. Okay. Are you guys keen to meet Miras for coffee? And you can tell me what do you what do you think? What you think? What you think? What do you think? What do you think? All right. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much on that one. So you did a very good job with the pronunciation. Just remember, Edmundo, when you have this word right here, you have th. That is like think. Repeat it. Think. No, think. No with T. All right. Just for you to no. recognize this one, let's talk about Spanish. In Spanish yeah, from think. Spain. From Spain. Think. How do you say, for example, shoe in Spanish? Shoe. Zapato. In Spanish? Zapato. Shoes. Muy bien. But, yeah. but in el español de España, how would you pronounce it? Spain. El, con el, no, español, es... el, el español de Spanish. España, you know, ¿cómo pronuncian ellos la Z? How do they pronounce the Z? Sí, cabeza. Exactly, sí. that one, Edmundo. Think. Ese sonido que acaba think. de hacer sería think. 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 Exactly. Think. Very good What job. You think. Think. Think, think, think. All right, so, do no sería think. ese, es como la, la Z española. All right, so, the Z for in Spanish. Exactly. All right, from Spain. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's just continue with this one. All right. I need two volunteers more, please. Two volunteers more. So we can finish with this activity. Thank you, Jose. All right, and anybody else? One more, please. One more. Ever. All right, thank you, Jose and Ever. Well, Jose can be Chris and Ever can be Kin. All right. Okay. Do you have a day for the party yet? Actually, I don't. Do you know anyone I could go with? Um, what king of gold do you like? Oh, I like guys who are too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know someone like you? Oh, oh, what else? Well, what? I prefer someone I have something in common with who I can tell to Kessily. I think, okay. I think I know who's the good for you, but Brayson, do you know him? No, I don't think, I don't think so. Okay, I'll ask him to make out uh, for coffee and you can tell me what you drink. Think. Yes. Think. All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. You're doing a very good job on this one. So let's review the pronunciation of the words that I underlined there. So this one right here, my friends, uh, please check this one here. Repeat it with me. Kind. Kind. Very good. Excellent. This one. Okay. Guys, guys, very guys. Good. This one right here, humor. humor, humor. Good job. This one, talk, talk, talk. Very good. This one, easily, easily. This one right here, just, just. just. Very good. Guy. guy, guy. And then, think, think, think. Think. Uh -huh. Remember, so that has to be like, for example, if you're saying this one. Mm -hmm. Do you see this? Think. Think. Con la Z Think. Española, right? Think. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. Okay. So, do you have questions about the vocabulary, people? Questions about vocabulary? 
No questions? No, no questions. Okay, excellent. So, well, let's just continue with the next activity here. So, let's see here. So, we have a grammar topic that we are going to review right here, and it's about the relative pronouns, right? So, hey, everybody, we have the relative pronouns, and the relative pronouns here take the place of nouns and pronouns. They are called relative pronouns because they always relate back to something or someone else. They are used to join two sentences about the same person or thing right so that's basically what we have here those that you can see here are the relative pronouns right so in those, those are like wh questions so for example what's the meaning of who mm -hmm. what's the meaning of who there people this is king yeah. very good who, king. who's who you all right, Puyo, very good, excellent. Whom? A king. A king. All right, very good, excellent. So which? Qual. Qual. And that? Sí. Que. Eso. Eso. You know that oh, eso. Es eso, of course, que significa eso, right? Pero en este context sería que. Yeah. All right, so like that. Very good. Excellent. So that's basically what we have to check right there. So in this one, it, we have the usage right here. And so it says who here, it's going to replace I, she, he, we, and they. When we are talking about any subject like I, she, he, we, and they, we are going to use who. Para reemplazar un subject. All right, to replace a subject. How? For example... This is the man, all right? And then broke the window. So, estamos hablando de alguien, all right? So, and we can say this one, who broke the window, right? Aquí podemos tener like two different sentences. We can have here two different sentences. For example, I can have here, all right? This is the man, and then period. He broke the window. All right, así sería dos oraciones acerca de lo mismo, right? Two sentences about the same thing here. This is the man, is the man who broke, he broke the window. Este es el hombre que la ventana. la ventana. But we need to join, you know, estamos unir en una sola oración, in one sentence, eh, esa idea. Entonces, vamos a eliminar eso aquí y nos quedamos with this one. It would be here, this is the man who, en lugar de quien. He. Instead of using he, ya no pusimos he, 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 broke the window. Y así hacemos una sola sentence. All right. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So, yeah, very good. Then you go on this one. Whose? All right. Which is cuyo. You said here. This show possession or relationship. All right. So, let's say this one. It says here, she knew the family whose house, house we bought. We bought. Exactly, all right? So, and how would you translate that sentence into Spanish? Let's see if you understand the context. Ella conoció la familia cuya casa compramos. Cuya casa compramos, all right? So, that's why it says cuyo, because a quien le pertenecía esa casa before, all right? Because we're talking yeah. about this in past, all right? Very good, excellent. Then we have whom, which whom means... Uh, you know, los object pronouns, all right? So, this is like normally go at the end. It says here, they have found the lady, all right, whom Boom. they want to interview, all right? So, encontraron a la eh, señora, a quien? A la dama, Ajá. a quien ellos quieren inter ellos in entrevistar. entrevistar. Exactly, very good. That's how you say it, all right? Super good. Then, uh, we go on this one, which, all right? So, are almost always not restrictive, all right? So, my precious blue lamb, which is here, tenemos como cual, but in this context, para que sea más understandable, we can understand this as la cual, o el cual, pues, depending on the subject, right? Mm -hmm. So, like this one, you can say here, for example, my precious blue lamb, right? Mi, mi preciosa la lámpara azul, all right? La cual, estaba en el cuarto, se en rompió. Cuarto, estaba rota. Exactly. Fue, fue quebrada. All right. Está I would say like está quebrada instead of like what it was broken. Yeah, all right. Yeah. So 
que estaba en la habitación uh -huh. estaba quebrada ¿no? estaba quebrada o estaba rota All right, so, and then we have that, que significa que. All right, so, clauses that begin with that are always, uh, sorry, are almost always restricted clauses. The lamp that was in the room was broken. All right, so, la lámpara. Okay. okay. Estaba, Estaba en, el en el cuarto, fue quebrada. O la quebraron. Se quebró. All right, so, like that, it's broken, was broken. All right, so. That's basically how you say this one, all right? Ahora, en el uso, in the usage of this one, esas, la, estas son las grammar rules, right? Así se usan, who, whose, whom, which, and that. All right, so, ahora, what happens is like, in generally speaking, habrá personas que utilicen that para todo. All right, so, en lugar de who, en lugar de whose, etc., usarán that because it's easier for them, all right? So, It's not grammatically correct, but it's common. Understand? Diga, for example, this is the man that broke the window. Right? So, anywhere the, who broke the window. Or she knew the family eh, that house we bought. All right? So, depending on this one. Casi siempre es más común. Like this one. Aquí usando en vez de who. All right? So, like this. Questions about this grammar topic, my friends? No okay. questions? Okay. Okay, if you don't have questions for me, guess what? I have questions for you. So let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. It's this one right here. Sorry, this one. About the relative pronouns. All right, so we are going to use here, you know, fill in the blanks with who, which, and also we have here where. ¿Qué significa where, my friends? Where. Where, uh-huh. Donde. Donde, Donde, exactly, all right? So, like, for example, you can say this one. Let's see, number one, it says, I met a woman, will that be who, which, or where? Uh -huh. What will be the answer? Who, which, or where? Who? Can you speak six languages? Exactly, because estamos hablando de una woman here, for no, a woman. Uh, a so, woman. Exactly. So it's going to be who? There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Number two, an airplane, it's a machine. Mm -hmm. Who, which, or where? Which. 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 La cual. Very wish. good. Excellent. Thank you. There you go. Number three, who can help me to read number three? Where's the name of the river where flow through our town? Exactly, where flows through our town, all right? Uh, yeah. Are you sure it's where? Where? Completely sure? It's where? Mm -hmm. Where? Completely sure? Yes. Where? All right. You sure? ¿Cuál es el nombre del río? ¿Dónde? Las corrientes atraviesan nuestra. Cuyas, wish, wish. Yeah, wish. right, exactly. Wish. That's what I was trying to tell you. Wish. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All right, so what about number four? Well, yes. New York is the, the town where I met Emma first. Uh -huh. Aha, yeah. New York is the town. Aquí estamos hablando de un. Place, all right, lugar, like New place, York. Lugar, lugar, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All right, so then we got this one. So we go with where. Very good, excellent. So what about number five? Uh -huh. Who? I have a friend who is very good at repairing cars. That is correct, excellent. So you go on this one. Thank you. Uh huh. What else? Mm -hmm. Number six. The dog. The dog. Who? Mm. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. The dog. Is a person. Person, who? Are you sure it's a person? 
the dog. It's an animal. Yeah. All right. Wish. So. All right. So, will that be who, which, or where? No. Mm -hmm. Who, you said? Mm -mm. Or which? Remember, if we go to the previous slide, let's just do that. Oops. This yeah. key. Let's write. I, she, he, we, and they. Pero no it. In, in, in the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería aquí. Which. Which, exactly. Yeah. All right. So it says here. What about number seven? Who? Oh, what the name of the woman who lives next door? Yay. Who lives next door. All right. Very good. Excellent. What about number eight? Mm -hmm. A musician is a person who plays a musical instrument. All right. Who plays a musical instrument? Very good. Excellent. Then you go on this one. In number nine. Where? 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 All right. Very good. And the last one, number 10. Yes. Number 10. Which, which, all right. So, so it's gonna be like here. Where? This is where. And here is which. Very good, excellent. Thank you very much. Very good job. All right. So, um, mm -hmm. questions about vocabulary. No questions. No question, teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. Thank you. So now let's just continue with the next activity here, the one you can see here. All right. This is just like we had to match. All right. So like this one, it's about matching. We are matching here, letter B. So those letters right here, we are going to write them here. Así como está aquí. All right. So like the way it is there. So let's see. For example, it says... I don't want to have a partner. And here it says letter D. It says here, I have nothing in common with this person. Okay, so we're going to match the expressions. So for example, let me help you with the next one. I would like to meet people. Which of these phrases do you think is going to be better there? Con cual sería mejor esa phrase? Hey, letter A. Mm -hmm. Letter A, you said? I, I, Very I like to meet people. Mm -hmm. Those people are warm. People are, are organized and intelligent. Organized and intelligent. All right. What about number three? I prefer a roommate. Yes, a roommate. It would be like a more like compañero de cuarto, right? So. G, maybe G. G. Quiet and considerate. It's quiet and considerate. Very good. Excellent. What about the next one? Excuse me. Uh -huh. I don't like to be with people. I don't feel if I don't feel comfortable around these people. All right. So I don't feel comfortable. Repeat it. I don't. I don't feel comfortable. Around these people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. What about number five? I want to discuss my problems with friends. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's right next to it. Is A? Ah, oh, no, no, no. Uh -huh. I want to discuss my problem with my friend. With my friend? Maybe. Okay, you, we already, let me help you with this one. We already have A, A? E, and F, and D. Yes. Uh -huh. So we only have here a, B, C, or E. 
E for me. These people are wrong and sensitive. Absolutely correct. Very good. What about number five? I'm sorry, number six. I'd rather, I'd rather have, have a boss. boss. Mm -hmm. This person has good leadership qualities. All right, leadership B. qualities is letter B. Very good. And the last one. These people have a good sense of humor. Sense of humor. I prefer to have teachers with a good sense C. of humor. Excellent. Thank you. All right. So if we are associating uh, the vocabulary we check at the beginning with the vocabulary, the grammar topic. All right. Questions about the vocabulary? No, teacher. No. All right. Excellent. So let's continue here. And we are going to go to the next activity here. This one. All right. So, yeah, so this one. Okay. Questions about this, my friends? Oops. No questions? No question. No question. Very good. Excellent, 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 excellent. All right. There you go. So, now let's just review this one. All right. So now, my friends, we are going to review uh, with this last activity here, which is the same we were just doing, but just uh, remember here, right? And um, we have to practice the pronunciation of this one right here. So we are going to read the this one and then the one that I'm going to associate right here. So for example, I don't want to have a yeah, partner. Yeah, yeah. I have nothing in common with this person. All right, uh, okay. first volunteer for reading. Yes, the second. I like right. to meet people. These people are organized and intelligent. Excellent. But remember, this one is organized. Organized. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Who's my next volunteer for number three? I prefer roommate. Roommate. This roommate. Uh -huh. This person is kid and con. con uh, Sorry, the person is cute and considered. Is quiet and considered. Is quiet. Okay, is quiet. Uh huh, and considered. Considered. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. What about number four? I hmm. don't like to be with people. All right. This I is don't feel comfortable around these people. Thank you very much. Just remember, this one is going to be with. Repeat it. With. 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 Correct. All right. So, and then this one right here, comfortable. Repeat it. Comfortable. Comfortable. I am comfortable. Comfortable. There you go. Exactly. Thank you. All right. Later, I mean, number five. Number five, what is it? I want to discuss my problem with friends. All right. I want to discuss these people my are warm and sensitive. Warm and sensitive. Warm. Repeat warm. Warm and sensitive. Warm. There you go. Excellent. So, and then it will be like number six. Number six, number six. I'd I, I, I rather have a boss. Uh, this person has a good leadership qualities. Leadership qualities. Thank you very much. And number seven, who is it? I prefer to have teachers. Uh huh. To have teachers. These people have a good sense yeah. of humor. All right. Excellent. So remember this one right here. Have. Okay. Have. To have. All right, exactly. Thank you very much in this one. Well, everybody, do you have any questions so far? No question. No questions? No questions so far. No question. Okay, excellent. So, well, in that case, we are going to uh, stop the class right here because it's time for you to, um, you know, go and rest a little bit. I will see you tomorrow, right, same time, with the same energy and the same, actually, willingness to participate. It has been a pleasure. And again, I'm really happy to see you again, everybody. Have a good night. Good night. Good Take night, care. Teacher. Take night. care. Bye-bye. 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 Nice, <laughs> bye -bye. nice <laughs> to see you again, everybody. Bye-bye. Right. Nice to
Good night, grupo. Good night, people. Good Have night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night.